Hi guys, Candace Jones here from CJ Sweet Life. Today I'm excited to talk about um, how to really like clean up your um, medicine cabinet so that you can start actually healing yourself rather than hindering your health through um, just medications that you might be getting from the grocery store or um, drugstore. So I want to kind of start out with a block of items that you might use for allergies, cold, sinus infections, um, any sort of cough or sore throat. Now anytime I feel something coming on, like usually I can feel it in the pressure of my head, um, I automatically go to my best friend, apple cider vinegar. And sometimes I'll just literally just put it in a shot glass and take a shot of apple cider vinegar and it I feel like it instantly kind of, um, A, it helps clear out the sinuses, kind of like horseradish in the sense of how it, it's very um, strong and, um, I don't know, pungent. And so it really just helps to clear out your sinuses. But um, other ways you can make like a drink form of it. Um, one of the drinks that I like to do is you can put it in, baby, mainly like I'll start out with like a cat full and put it in a glass of water and I might put some honey or you could put even like apple juice, like fresh apple juice in with it um, to give it that sweetness. You could also just do, you could add like ginger, which is a great um, antibiotic. And so that that's like, first of all, great start. So start adding the apple cider vinegar in again, right where you're going. And it's also um, a probiotic in the sense because it's a fermented food. So you want to start adding more pro probiotics into your life because it helps with your, with your digestive system, right? So we, we do know that um, immune health is related to basically a, a strong digestive system. So we wanna make sure that we're building up our bacteria in our gut system. And a lot of that is, um, related to or to our diets but also to the overconsumption of antibi antibiotics um and that that's even in our food like if you're not getting uh, meat that is um grown properly it, they're injected with antibiotics because they're just not in a very clean environment but also because we just i feel and every time i go to a doctor um and this is probably most of y'all that it just seems like antibiotics seems to be the number one prescription. And even if things are not even um, bacterial, for instance, like an earache, um, an earache is mainly, most of the time, I should say viral. And so to prescribe an antibiotic to a, a virus is not really doing anything um, other than hurting your body more because again, you're taking the antibiotic, it's killing the good and healthy bacteria in your gut that helps you fight infection and helps um, your immune system. So just again, like to add even like the probiotics, you want to take like apple cider vinegar, you can take um, uh, probiotic foods like uh, vegetables and things like that. I like um, kombucha. It's very tasty. I love that drink because um, now you can see it in a lot of the stores. There's all sorts of kombucha um, flavors. I love the lemon. Like they have a lemon flavor. They have ginger. They have even like fun fruits like strawberry and like blueberries and things like that. So really a cool thing to just start trying and start um, implementing into your health. Um, so that's kind of like the first thing I always do. Another thing is I make a natural, basically a lemonade and total antibiotic drink. So what I add to it is I'll do like four or five juiced lemons and you could blend them up essentially, but I've done that and it just takes, I don't really like the, um, the pulp, having all the pulp in my drink. So I'll, I tend to ju just juice the lemons and lemons are great for, they're very astringent and they pull things out. So when you're having a cold or any sort of symptoms, that's just your body's way of getting things out. It's a, it's a form of detox, honestly. Um, 
just to kind of get into that even more is uh, kind of talking about acid and alkaline environments, right? When we start getting into colder seasons, we're actually entering into a more alkaline environment. So that's actually when we start going into self detox modes where that's where we're seeing a lot of the um, basically side effects of detoxing with the colds and flu like symptoms and like even the achiness that's all kind of detoxing. So rather than suppressing with medication that basically makes the if, if you will, like mucus and everything go back in, you don't want it to go back into the body. You want to get it out, right? So lemon is a great astringent. It, I mean, just thinking about putting it in your lips, it's very, it's very tart. It makes your lips pucker up, right? And that's kind of what it does to your cells. It like squeezes things out, squeezes this, all the junk out, so to speak, and gets it out. So I love lemon. I love astringent. Um, citrus fruits for that for that reason so a lemon is a great thing and of course the vitamin c you're wanting to get that um into your body when you start having any sort of cold or flu-like problems so get the get the lemon right another thing is to okay hi guys so another thing you want to add into that drink is raw honey and this is actually a great thing to be adding into your everyday life, especially if you tend to have allergies. Um, you want to go for ro local raw honey, if that. That way, you're almost getting some of the allergens or um, the pollen, basically, from flowers that are in your area. So you're giving your body just like little... Um, jolts of that allergen that so that you can kind of start taking it in on small amounts and start building an immunity to it okay but raw honey is a great antibiotic in itself it has a lot of healing properties as far as like antiseptic and um even antiviral so it's a great thing to have um i mean you can make mask out of it good for acne but for this sake, it's really good for like your throat and kind of having that cream base to kind of like coat the throat if you're having any sort of a so sore throat. But it also gives for the the taste of the drink gives it that sweetness that we're kind of wanting wanting to kind of um, take some of that bitterness out from the or the tartness from the lemons. So again, something to add to um, your your cabinet, so to speak. And to kind of um, round out the drink, you're gonna add about two to three cloves of garlic. And that is gonna be the kicker, because sometimes I find that when you have raw garlic, it's actually spicy. But this also, you know, is an antibiotic too. It's one of the strongest antibiotics that you can have. So this, it's a tasty drink that you can start taking again when you start feeling um, just under the weather, okay? Okay, so something else you wanna add into your medicine cabinet, cabinet is elderberry syrup. And this is actually something you can make on your own. It's made from elderberries, which are basically berries, it's like just like blueberries or blackberries, whatnot. Um, so you can um, basically boil it down into a syrup but I simply um, just bought, this one is straight up from um, Sprouts and it's, it's, it's just elderberry itself. And this is not as sweet as um, blueberries or raspberries may be, but it's just a great thing that, to coat your throat and um, get rid of any sort of infection that you might have. So I will do that like a couple of times a day and for my kiddo, I just did, um, this has a, a little bit of a blend of um, Essentia um, and elderberry, which Essentia is a, a strong herb as well that's just um, great at healing properties. So I will just put this in like his juice, I'll, like I'll make a, an orange juice or an apple juice and I'll just put a little bit it, it usually it, it goes by weight of course so you can just kind of like measure it that way 
and something else I put in with his like his drink. So this is just really like if he's been um, again in the winter, like if he's been around a lot of snotty nosed kids or inside, and there's just a lot of stuff going on, I'll kind of up his game a little bit more. So I'll put the Essentia, um, and this is orange flavored, and again, it's just like really good immune boosting uh, support kind of herb. So, and they have this like in teas you can have, um, but for kiddos, you kind of just need to put it in something that they already like to drink. So this is one thing, it's, it's orange flavor, so I'll put a few droplets in that. I'll put a kid's um, probiotic, probiotic in it as well. And this is a first offense. Um, so this kind of has a little bit of everything. This has zinc and colloidal silver. And um, again, all kind of like immune boosters as well. So I'll just kind of like put a little droplet of everything and just um, give them that immune bo boost. Cause a, I'm not one to um, give my kid a lot of like um, hand sanitizer stuff, um, mainly because I, I still want him to, to be around um, a lot of the, I guess it's just more an immune boost, I want him to be around it, um, but also a lot of anti sanitizers are very unfortunately toxic and I think we're overusing um, antibacterial soaps and things like that. So I just like to boost it with herbs to kind of boost, but also strengthen in, in itself. So those are kind of, what else do we have? Um, so I kind of went in some of the essential oils, but um, especially if you're feeling that, you know, you need to clean up the air, you could do some tea tree oil and a diffuser and that kind of kills any sort of virus in the air. So you get that going. A tea tree is great for even like mold or anything that's going on in the house. Of course, we've talked about it's very, it's a good cleaner, right? So it destroys any sort of airborne pathogen. So very good to get that going. But even to, um, you can make your own like vapor rub with eucalyptus and like peppermint oil. Um, it really like clears up the sinuses, gets things flowing. You could do a um, like a steam bath with that, or even just put really hot water and put a couple of oils in the water and put like, and this is something you can do with your kids and put their towel, a towel over your head and just breathe that in. That'll get your sinuses um, flowing and your air flowing. Okay, so um, another thing is, uh, this is not really part of um, medicine, per se, but having a neti pot is great too to just uh, do a sinus flush. Again, like sinus pressure is like one of the worst things like for me, and I used to have a lot of these, um, but I've gotten better I think just by um, a lot of the, A, my diet, but a lot of the proactive things that I do. Sorry, I know my kid is distracting, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. But okay, so those are kind of like the, main tips for the cold, cough, sore throat kind of things. And even like the elderberry and honey, you can um, make your own like cough drops and even like lollipops for the kiddos. So, damn it. Okay, I'll edit that. So you can make your own little cough, cough drops, even put those into teas and things like that. So really um, a lot of uses. So kind of going into, natural antibiotics that you just want, like, I'm not even go too far into it, but I just wanna add like the main ones that you wanna have into your your life. And that's, we've already talked about garlic, honey, ginger is an amazing one um, that you can make with tea, and turmeric is a great one. So, um, as far as doing like teas, I, um, there's a lot of different ones out there and they, they even have like on the boxes, they usually have a description for them. But I like doing, especially like if I have stomach issues, like ginger tea is great. Um, another like strong antibiotic is, tu is turmeric. So um, you can make your own like kind of like turmeric milk or what I've, what you'll see around um, on the internet and what the, not, it's called yellow tea and they'll mix turmeric with like coconut milk and um, honey 
and when it's water and like a little bit of coconut oil or I've even see, seen clarified um, butter which is called ghee, G-H-E-E, -E, which um, as you guys know I, I, stick, I stay away from a lot of the animal products so I just do it with coconut oil. oil. And that's um, honestly uh, turmeric itself is um, is incredible. It's one of the strongest anti-inflammatory um, products out there or herbs out there that you can use. It's great for um, any sort of ache and pain that you might have. It's anti-inflammatory. It's antidepressant. What else? It's um, it's an anti coagulant which is like aspirin right it's stronger than aspirin actually in a lot of the um, studies that they have been it's great for if you have arthritis or any sort of IBS which is in inflammation within the bowels so something that you definitely can start adding into your life is the turmeric doing the turmeric tea or milk that I just said or even just like adding it into um, foods like making curry dishes at home and whatnot so just something great to add Okay, so next I kind of want to talk about um, even just going into the earache. Um, now that I have my kiddo here, he actually has never had an earache and he is almost two. And that is, first of all, very, it's, it's very common for kiddos to have earaches, right? And I think it's mainly due because of his diet. I, dairy and especially gluten are very um, mucus forming. And that's where we, we start seeing a lot of the problems with the earaches. And as I said before, um, when you go to a doctor, a lot of times they prescribe antibiotics. When an earache is, in, is, a, is a virus, it's not bacterial. Um, so you're basically hurting your body or your immune system by taking away the... Um, by taking away your natural um, gut flora, okay? So, one thing that you can do for um, helping with any sort of ear infection is by doing garlic oil. And garlic oil, you can get that at the store, but you can also do it yourself by infusing garlic into like some olive oil, so to speak, and you'll, you'll put, yeah. You'll put quite a few of um, cloves of garlic into um, the olive oil and just let it sit for um, a couple of days to even a week or two. And you just simply, all you need is a drop or two in each ear and that really helps with um, the infection. Again, antibiotic. It's a natural antibiotic but anti antiviral as well. Um, another thing you could do is tea tree oil and I don't necessarily say put the tea tree itself in so you want to mix that with some coconut oil and you can just kind of put it on the on, on the outside of the ear and whatnot um, just to kind of pull things out um, another thing to look at is if you or your kiddo is continually getting ear infections is to look into going and getting chiropractic work um, a lot of times we get our nerves, so to speak, in a bunch because our, our spine is not aligned properly. And so that can be um, giving us a lot of pain, especially in the sinus pressure or ear problems or even headaches. So to get find a, a great chiropractor um, and get adjusted, get your kids adjusted. I've um, seen kids basically get adjusted on their first day. So I haven't been that pro addict in chiropractic care, um, mainly because like my kiddo, he's been very healthy. Um, but that would definitely be something that I would have looked at if I saw that he was getting a lot of colds or again, like the ear infections. So that's something um, my mother, like I suffered from a great deal when I was a kid. And because we had a very um, high dairy diet, and I definitely think that's a big um, reason why kids suffer today. Um, so let's see, let's go into, I guess like my last thing is just kind of talking about um, like a stomach 
any sort of stomach problem you might have or an upset stomach. A ginger, I mentioned before, as a tea is great in soothing any sort of bloating or constipation or any sort of like nausea. Again, it has some of the same properties as turmeric. Um, it's it's kind of healing in the sense of it heats you up too. Um, but I like to also show you, um, I showed you this last time for my um, beauty detox, but activated charcoal. And normally I, I don't ingest the charcoal because it has a very binding effect. And we use charcoal today in um, like our water filters. It helps filters out the toxins. So essentially that's what it's doing in your body. It's binding in sort of any sort of toxins. Um, and so if you have had any sort of, well, if you've over, um, indulged in alcohol, um, that one might be a good one for a, hang a hangover cure. But also if you have any sort of food poisoning, uh, activated charcoal would be a good thing to just kind of take with some water or even take with, um, coconut oil and don't, well, you're probably going to be doing it on an empty stomach because you're probably like throwing up or whatnot. But it would help some of the symptoms and get some of the um, the thing, the food, I guess, food particles that are causing all your issues. Um, what else? That's about it as far as even the stomach is concerned. I, I mean, I talked about probiotics, so that's that's the other thing that I would add is just to make sure that you're upping your probiotics naturally in food, of course, um, and then of course looking into your diet and essential, essentially as far as improving your health as well. Um, any sort of. Let's see, I have a few essential oils as well that you can start adding into your diet, or sorry, your routine. And these I like to use, um, I'm not really going to go into the property so much as just um, top ones that, again, I like to have in my medicine cabinets, um, so to speak. And again, I like to use these in different properties by taking baths, I like to diffuse them in my diffuser or humidifier. Um, or even just put them, um, I used to have, a, I took it off, a, a bracelet that had um, like a clay on it. So I would put it there and just smell it. Or you could drop it into um, your, like your a steam bath again to like kind of get it out. But so some of the top ones I would say is again like eucalyptus, um, tea tree, lemon, clove cinnamon, ginger of course, and peppermint, again for just getting your sinuses moving. But yeah, so again, these are kind of my, my favorite tips to just help you get through the next couple of months. Um, I know like cold and flu system is hard, but it's also, um, Pretty cool because to kind of go back onto the acid and alkaline environment, it's actually very alkalining the cold. So you're actually getting um, things moving, right? So you want to clean it up as much as you can. But again, I didn't. I don't want to make this too long. And again, I can probably go off on a lot of these um, products here. But I just wanted to give you a clip, a quick kind of um, rundown as far as what I would add. And thanks for seeing my little kid. But thank you for watching me today. And I hope this helps you guys, especially in the upcoming months, and to help you get stronger and healthier. Um, please give me a thumbs up and a like and a follow, of course. And I love you guys for watching. Bye.